another pixie white guy up here. What's this one gonna say? <laughs> so I was at Target the other day, because I work there, and one of the new brands that they are introducing is called Made by Design. I'm thinking, well, yeah, what else would it be? I head on down to the baby section. Made by accident. Oh. <laughs> I head on down to the clothing. Made by poor, starving Filipino workers. I think these brand names are just getting a little too literal. <laughs> so I want to ask a question, you guys. Why is it that no matter who gives it to you or what they say, there's no such thing as good dating advice? You could be thinking, you know what, Trent? I need to be more confident, more assertive. Someone else in the back says, you know what, I agree. Nobody asked you. God, that was stupid for thinking that was a good idea. Anyone that tries to get dating advice is usually these 40s and 50s couples that have been married for 30 years and try to tell you what worked in the 70s, but are unaware of the changing climates. I think probably the best advice they try to give me, best by worst, is where they want you to pick people up. One of the big things they say is, oh, just try and pick someone up at the grocery store. I get the sentiment that there's really only so much bonding two people can do over cabbage. <laughs> So that's a nice um, head you got there. <laughs> Thanks, it's green. So you want to go back to my place and smoke some jazz cabbage? Only if you eat out my love cabbage. What? Yeah, that's probably how it would go positively. But the last time I tried to pick up a girl at a grocery store, the next week they introduced online ordering. <laughs> so that's how my life's going. Another place I always want you to go is church. Try to meet someone at church. Like, okay, I get you trying to get me to praise Jesus, but I'm trying to praise the movie here, so I don't want to get the two confused. I'm trying to imagine how my parents would think this would go swimmingly. Of course, I'm going to have to go to a Catholic church because they use real wine. We get a nice candlelit dinner. She's sitting down and says, wow, Trey, this is so romantic. What is this wine? It's great. Oh, it's leftover from last communion. Okay, so uh, what's in the basket? Oh, I made it there. I yanked the table off, not the entire table, just the cloth, to reveal a foot tall mountain of leftover communion wafers. We're eating the big man himself tonight, honey. Then there's a library. They want you to go to meet people at the library, a place where introverts go to buy books, which is usually a one-person activity. <laughs> the only way I can see this working out in any way, shape, or form is if I just go to the erotica section and try and find someone who's reading Fifty Shades of Grey, because that way, her standards of a man cannot possibly get any lower than me. <laughs> oh, I see, like Christian Grey, well, let me introduce you to someone who is slightly better. Just like that's all I got for you, folks. <laughs>